Three energy giants made some startling announcements this week. Husky Energy said it is looking into getting out of the retail gas station business after 80 years of serving Canadians. The company wants to turn its focus to Husky assets in northeastern Alberta. Atlantic Canada and the Asian Pacific regions. Today uh, there's again word as we've mentioned earlier that uh, Royal Dutch Shell wants to sell its refinery in Ontario and TransCanada might take Canada out of its name. Here to talk more about this Danielle Smith from 770 CHQR. A few things in a shake-up of all of this. Danielle what do you make of it? None of it is good, especially the last one. When you've got TransCanada deciding that the name Canada in their company name is a liability, that, that just shows you how far our reputation has deteriorated when trying to attract investors. It also, you know, I guess it's truth in advertising. If you can't get a, bu a, a pipeline built across the country anymore, remember they were the advocate for Energy East, then I guess you're really no longer a Trans-Canada pipeline company. So I understand why they've made the decision. But th this is shocking in this respect. When you look back 10 years ago, we were talking about hundreds of billions of dollars in projects from all levels, whether it was production, whether it was uh, refining, refining and upgrading, or, or whether it was other investments in this industry. And now it's drying up. Not only is it drying up, but some big players are looking at moving their, uh, their efforts elsewhere. Uh, when you talk about Shell and the major divestiture that they've done over the last number of years on a variety of fronts, this, this isn't good for our industry. It shows an incredible lack of confidence. So that's my initial take on it. Um, Dave Yeager, though, is one of the analysts I always talk to on energy issues to see if there's a silver lining in any of this. Because whenever you've got a seller, it means that you've got a buyer as well. And so we oftentimes look at the divestiture side of things as opposed to, well, who's interested in investing here? Who's looking at these assets as something they can make something out of? So we're going to see whether or not there is a bit of a gleam of hope out of all of this. An interesting conversation, the pros and the cons. Are you weighing them on your show this morning? Thank you, Danielle. Yeah, you bet.